Hello guys, welcome to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to sell on StockX. Basically, this will be a StockX tutorial for beginners. So we will just see how we can do it. Is it easy? Is it hard? What are the problems? Do we have any problems with this website? And of course, how can we generally do it of course if you are not like doing anything just like opening up a new web browser page i will just say stock x and this is my results the best and the first results of course i will click on you can like this is an ad you can click on the normal one you can click on the ad doesn't matter i will click on the normal one and this is the web page i'm getting as you can see there are a lot of like generally sneaker or like shoe sellers because this website was really popular with people trying to sell shoes in general of course for sneakers they have to be brand new but that's a whole another topic so let's say you got into the website and you want to sell this is like a sell button right here but before we do anything you have to log in or sign up of course, both of them are really easy. If you do not have an account, you can just say sign in and it will give you this sign up screen or login screen, depending on your situation. If you have like a Google account, an Apple account, a Twitter account, Facebook account, doesn't matter. If you have these, you can use them. They are pretty easy to use. You just like click on it. It will send you to here and you will be able to choose an account that you can connect to. If you already have an account, you can say login, the same principle goes. I will just log into my own account and I will see you guys after that. After you get into your account, you will see the profile option now instead of login or sign in. The profile option is right here. You will be able to see different stuff like this, of course, like name, username, email, everything, other than, of course, any kind of like password or anything that's why i'm easily showing you this here guys so you will be able to go on and of course if you want you can change everything by the way i suggest you do and of course after here let's say you want to sell for those who don't know stock x their whole stuff is selling quick with zero problems you just search your product and set your price you don't even need to take any product pictures, share personal information, or negotiate with potential buyers. And you will be able to reach millions. Their global reach, as they say, extends to millions of customers in like 200 countries. You are guaranteed to discover someone who won't be able to wait to purchase the item you guys are selling. And of course, if you are planning to sell a lot on this website, they pride themselves on having the lowest commission rates in the industry and they want to share them. So the more you sell, the lower the commission rate they will take from you. So yes, you will be able to sell really easily and really fast. So let's just try and sell. We will go on to sell button here. And when you click on sell, as you can see, like if you don't say like create a listing or whatever, if you just like click on the sell button like this, it will say search a product, search for a brand, search for a color. Like let's say if I say play, do I see anything? I do. Sony PlayStation Portal remote player. It's white. You can like, as you can see, you can see alternatives here. Let's say that I have a Sony PlayStation 5, PS5, Blu-ray edition for the Spider-Man 2 console bundle. Of course, this is the US version. Let's say if I do in US, I will say the US plug, of course. I will select it. And as you can see, you will see their terms and conditions. You will be able to list your item. Of course, you can sell now at the highest bit or set an asking price. So you will either get the price you ask for or you will start a bidding. If you start a bidding, of course, you will get the item and you will give out the item for the highest bidder. But in any other case, it still works. Then 
you ship your item. You ship your item within two business days, they authenticate, then they ship it to the buyer. So you ship your item to stock X. You do not ship your item to the buyer themselves. So that's the, of course, safety parts for people who want to buy and for people who want to ship. Because that way, StockX knows you did everything correctly. And of course, there are no problems like the buyer saying, oh, they did not ship me the right product. No, because StockX checked everything and they authenticated everything. So they know you are doing it properly. Then, of course, they get paid, but there is also a seller cancellation penalty. This only happens if you cannot like ship the item or if you try to cancel or whatever. They either take 15% of the transaction price or a $15, depending on how you do things. But like I said, this only happens if you cannot ship the item or if you do not properly send the product, like they said in two business days. So if you already like do your business properly, you will never see anything about this. If you understand, simply say, I understand. And unfortunately, this item does not like apparently exist in my location. So what you have to do is choose a product you can actually sell or choose a product you actually have. As you can see, these items do not exist in my location. So what do I do? I go on and create a new listing from the new listing menu right here. Like I said, I can try to find an item that's like exists in my area. But of course, I will just do that and be right back. Of course, because of my country, I cannot find the US items because this website is like predominantly US used and my country is in Europe and it's a small country. So like I cannot get most of these items to be sold properly here. But if you live in US or if you live in Britain, England, whatever, if you live in those countries, you will easily be able to put the bits. As you can see right now, like after you put any item, it will look like this. Like for example, the item, the color, the related product, the details, as you can see, the retail price is like 199. And right now this item, as you can see, can be bought for $218, which is nice. But if I try to place a bid, for example, right now, the highest bid, can I see the highest bid, please? I cannot see a bid because this is not getting bid right now, I think. But of course, you can just like simply, oh, yes. Apparently the last bid is like 109. Uh, 79 and of course if you do this one right here you can just like place a bid for 180 and get your bid higher up on the table you can see like sell for 179 or ask for more this is an option of course but for this you have to have the item and of course if you live in us that won't be a problem that's generally how that goes and I hope this video was helpful. If it was, don't forget to give us a like and maybe even subscribe to our channel. But in any other case, I hope to see you guys in the next video as well. Have a great day and goodbye.